A Wrexham-based charity has called on the people of Wales to continue supporting children in Ukraine. Teams for You have been offering assistance to an orphanage in southern Ukraine since war broke out. Our correspondent, Gwyn Loder, and cameraman, Caleb Swinney, travelled with them to the war-torn country. This is their special report, and I should warn you, from the start, you may find some of the images upsetting. Behind locked gates, a welcoming smile. Wrexham charity Teams for You have been working here at Megala Orphanage, southern Ukraine, since the outbreak of war, offering support and advice to a centre for children with severe learning disabilities. Before the war, there were 10 children living at this orphanage. But mid-March, another 42 were brought here from Donetsk. Staff are stretched. As you'll see behind me, one nurse caring for 20 children and there's nothing for them to do. Sergei is one of the children moved here from Donetsk. Weighing just seven and a half kilograms, he is, unbelievably, 10 years old. The war hasn't stopped, it's still going on, and these, these kids are still affected, and even after the war ends, this isn't going to end anytime soon. These kids aren't going to be able to potentially go back to where they were from originally, so... It's, it's a never-ending situation, unfortunately. <laughs> With Simon is Ruth Wynne Williams, an experienced lecturer and specialist learning disability nurse. She's hoping to use her expertise to help children and staff here. You don't know what these children have been through to get here. You know, they've, they've come from war zones, or they've come from, and they're estranged from their families, or estranged from the other place where they're so used to and adapting to different places, you know, we feel uncomfortable. But if you don't understand what's happened, you know, if they don't understand there's a war happening or why were they moved in the first place, the feeling of loss is incredible, you know. There's little for the children to do. And with staff outnumbered, they feel they have no option but to tie one boy to a chair. These children need more attention and we need more staff to work individually with each of them. The nurse simply doesn't manage. She has to cope with everything, but only manages to keep them clean, fed and safe. We need staff, staff, staff. Teams for You have sent toys, food and essentials to this orphanage, as well as funding a new toilet block. They now aim to offer specialist support and expertise over the long term. It's unrealistic to think that we can change things when you have so little staff around. When it's just important to keep people the basic, you know, keep them warm, you know, have a comfortable place to live, food, drink, you know, to, just to make sure that that's done in a day is an achievement sometimes. <laughs> These are the forgotten children of Ukraine the helpless victims of war. That special report from Gwyn Loder and cameraman Caleb Swinney.